A can do a job in 10 days, B can do the job in 15 days, C can demolish the same job in 20 days. If C starts the work, they work on alternative days as C, A, B, C and so on. So in how many days does the work get completed? So clearly if A can do a job in 10 days, he can do a job in 10 days. What is his capacity? His capacity is 1 by 10. He can do 1 tenth of the work in 1 day. Similarly, B can do the job in 15 days. So what is B's capacity? 1 by 15, right? So B's capacity is 1 by 15. He can do 1 by 15 of the work in 1 day. C can demolish the same job in 20 days. C can demolish. C is doing negative work. Remember, these guys were doing positive work. But C is doing negative work. C can do, uh, you know, demolish the uh, job, same job in 20 days. Implies what is C's capacity? Minus 1 by 20. Remember, C's capacity will be taken as minus 1 by 20, right? He'll do minus 1 by 20 of the work each day. Now, it says C starts the work and they work on alternate days, alternative days as C, A, B, C and so on. So, if you say first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth, sixth, seventh and so on, what happens? First day C works, then A, then B, then C, then A, B, C and so on. So, a cycle is like three days, right? <coughs> if you see every three days, the amount of work done repeats itself, right? It's like... Each cycle is for three days where C, A and B work in that order. Again C, A, B. Again C, A, B and so on. Now a big question that comes up is what happens on the first day? Because we know that C is doing negative work. C is the person who demolishes the job in 20 days. So he's basically doing a negative work. Now C starts the work. How can you start a work when you have a person who does negative work on the first day? See for C to demolish there should be some work already done. There should be a work done already. But there's nothing done, right? He's starting on the first day. C starts on the first day. So there are different ways of looking at it. I, either you can say that, uh, you know, C has done nothing on the first day. He has done zero work, right? He has done zero work. We can say uh, case one, we can say he has done zero work. No work was done. But this day should be counted because C starts the work. Remember, C has started the work and he works on the first day. So, we cannot say that, okay, because there was no work, A will come. You cannot change the question that way. Right? C has worked on the first day. But his work was zero. He did not do anything because there was nothing to demolish. So, he has worked on the first day. Zero work is done. On the second day, A comes. He will do one-tenth of the work. On the third day, B comes. He will do one-fifteenth of the work. And again, on the fourth day, C comes. So, he will do one by twentieth of the work. So, taking first day as the exception, where zero work was done, we can say in the next three days, this work is done. Again in the next three days, the same amount of work is done. 1 by 10, 1 by 15, minus 1 by 20 and so on. Right? That's one way of looking at it. The other way of, you know, taking this can be as follows. Like, it, it is like this, you see. Let's say this is the ground level. And your job is to make a wall. Now when C comes on the first day, there is nothing to demolish. There is nothing to demolish. They will simply sit. No work will be done. On the second day, A comes, he will do one tenth of the wall. Right? And then, you know, he'll make one-tenth of the wall. Then, uh, third day B comes, he'll make one-fifteenth of the wall. So, he'll do some part of the work. Right? He'll do some part of the work. Again, on the fourth day C comes, he'll break this wall. So, he'll do negative work. He'll try to reduce this. Right? He'll, he'll probably chop this off. Some top part he'll break. Again, A comes and he'll continue. So, if this is the case, we have to take C as zero on the first day. The other way of looking at this, maybe when they started the work, there was already a wall built this much amount of this this high wall was built already let's say you getting it let's say this this wall was already built and their job was to start construction from this point onwards let's say it is already a one meter wall and their job is to make another 10 meters of wall there's already one meter wall here there was zero meter wall on first day here there's a one meter wall and their job is to start constructing the wall from uh, one meter high height and make it 10 meters or construct another 10 meters of wall. So what happens in this case, when C comes on the first day, he will break some part of the wall. He'll demolish some wall. He has done a negative work. 120th of negative work. Now again, A comes on next day. He'll first cover this part and then starts making a new wall. So there are two different ways, right? This is, I would say, case one and this is case two. Now the question is not very clear as to what is being done here. What should we consider here? Should we consider C doing zero work on first day or should we consider C doing negative work on first day? Right? Negative work is possible when there is already some uh, part built and over that we are trying to do some, some more work. And zeroth work should be considered if there is no work done and C starts from zero. Right? 
So both the case answers are there. I am sure some of you have followed case one, the others have followed case two, and accordingly you get the answer. This is case one. This is case one calculation. In case two, what happens? In case two, what happens? On the first day, C will do minus one by twenty. Second day, E will do one by twenty. Third day, B will do one by fifteen. This becomes a cycle. Again, fourth day, C will do minus one by twenty. Fifth day, C uh, A will do one by ten. And sixth day, B will do one by fifteen. This becomes the next cycle, and so on. This is case two. So maybe you'll have to try out both the cases and see which of the options are given. But I I would say that question is not very clear, right? And I think that is the reason Khalil was also getting confused, right? Ideally, we can go for case one. I mean, this is a exception, right? I mean, it has to be very explicitly mentioned in the question that already some part of the work was done, and C breaks that, and then it continues, right? So there's a lot of information uh, pertaining to case two has to be given in the question. Case one can be taken. Case one can be taken, and we can say zero work was done on the first day. Now, from this, I know it's very simple, right? You can follow that alternate days work concept that we have discussed in the video as well. You can just do the cycle. Let's let's solve for case one, right? So case one calculation I'm doing here now. What happened? Case one. Uh, remember, first day we are leaving out. We will add one day because C did not do any work there. But in three days, how much of work is done? One by ten plus one by fifteen minus one by twenty. So sixty is the LCM, right? Uh, six plus four, ten. Ten minus three, seven by sixty. Seven by sixty in three days, right? Implies Uh, multiply by what? Eight. Seven eight six fifty six. Right. Fifty six by sixty in twenty uh, four days. Right. So in twenty four days, fifty six by sixty is done. Now what is left out? What is left out? Four by sixty is left out. One by fifteen is left out. Remember again, you have to be very careful. In twenty four days, they have done fifty six by sixty of the work. Right. Which is like fourteen <coughs> by fifteen is done. Right. Fourteen by fifteen is done. One by fifteen is left out. Right. Remaining work is one by fifteen. Four by sixty, which is equal to one by fifteen. But the point is now on twenty fifth day, who comes? Twenty fifth day, twenty four days of work is done. On twenty fifth day, who comes again? Not on twenty fifth day again. Actually, we are we are considering first day to be zero to work, right? So in in twenty five days, this much of work is done. Next, who comes in the cycle? Next, who comes? C comes. Remember, C is doing a negative work. Or hold on, one one by fifteen, one by twenty. Ha huh, sorry i think in 24 days they have done this much now 1 by 15 is left out who comes a comes not c it, it depends again case one we are considering right in case one so in 24 days this much of work is done so 24 days means what this is 25th day 24 days means what 25 days of work is done means 25th day is completed on 26th day again a starts right a starts you know that a can do 1 10th of the work in one day right One tenth of the work in one day. So to do one fifteenth of the work, how much time will it take? He can do one tenth in one day. So one by fifteen in how many days? Right? What will be the answer? Two third of the days. Right? One by fifteen into one divided by one by ten. So ten by fifteen, which is two by three. So one fifteenth will be done by A in two by three days. Implies total time required is how much? Twenty four days plus. Two by three days plus zero days. Remember the zero. I mean, zero zero work was done on the first day, right? First day. So according to case one, the total time I would say is twenty four plus one twenty five days plus two by three twenty five two by three days, right? I'm just trying to indicate that using a dot line here, right? So first day zero work was done. 24 days, 56 by 60 was done. In 2 by 3 days, 1 by 15 was done. So add is 1 plus 24, 25. 25 plus 2 by 3, 25 2 by 3 days. So your answer will be. You don't have enough space here. Let me just mention it. 25 2 by 3 days. 